Just hand the little nigga up on that rack. Okay. Now go back to that, man. Yeah. You switched it? Nah, that's perfect. Oh, did, nah, they hit, they hit, they hit me. Bro, you should have just looped that. That would have been the yeah. perfect shit to bring Chance the Rapper to the show to. That would have been some great shit to do an introduction to. They won't fight you, though. You feel me? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You fucking with it? You fucking with it? I'm fucking with it. J.O.N. made it. Well, I'm fucking with it. Nah, you ain't fucking with it. Hey. Shit, I'm fucking with Dude. it. Yeah. Shit, it if I had that one right there, I'm fucking with it. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, if I had that one right there, it wouldn't even be fair. Mm. I would probably go three times platinum in a fucking year. Mm. Probably say some shit that you would really like to fucking hear. Something you can smoke a blunt to and drink a fucking beer. Mm. Probably be up for artists of the year. Yeah, and the yeah. people be like, when you gonna drop something, my dear? Hey, hey. hey I'm just chilling on some other yeah. shit. It was me, my brother, and my other brother, bitch. And we done rolled to the liquor store. And we done got a few backwoods. My turn to roll. I'm on the back seat, big booty freak. I met her last week. She done already ate the meat. That's how my life go. I spent the night with a nice hoe. Hey. And she even made breakfast, gave me head in the kitchen while she was cooking butt naked. Mm. Oh, I swear to God, I ain't told a lie yet. <laughs> got the chick, but I ain't got fly yet. <laughs> you can stop me when you think that I'm lying. These niggas think they better than me, and I ain't even trying. Mm, yeah. Coming off the head, yeah. like your girl, she do it. She ain't scared. Yeah. She put the neck with the side work. <laughs> She suck dick till her neck hurt. <laughs> oh, that shit went ignorant. I told you you gonna fuck with the beat. Nigga. All right, man, it's your turn. Do something. Damn. First of all, these ain't no boo to y'all. Yeah. Listen, these ain't no boo to y'all. Yeah. Listen, these ain't no boo to y'all. Yeah. Listen, these just so cool to y'all. Hold up. Come on. Cut me up, cut me up, yeah, yeah. We don't give a fuck, yeah, hey. You know y'all what's up, yeah, hey. I'm going for a side show. Listen, I got my club from Chicago, yeah. Cause we don't give a fuck, yeah, hey. We going all the way up, yeah, hey. That shit went crazy. That shit went crazy. That shit went crazy. Went crazy. She wanna get jumped. Who the fuck is that behind you, J.O.N.? That's a lot on that picture. That's a lot of hurt. You're not about to talk about the black history, man. Who is that black history? That's black history, man. That's black right, history. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. That's a uh, chance shit. This some chance. Wait, let me rap my freestyle. Go on. Okay. Yeah, I'm with my nigga DC. Hey, yeah. I'm rapping on y'all TV. Come on. Yeah. Or maybe I'm on your computer. Facts. And I'm with my fucking shooters. Whoa, whoa, we whoa. in the A. I'm with all my homies and we came to play. And I ain't come to play. Yeah. I do this every day. Yeah. What's today? Wednesday? Oh, damn, it's Thursday. Damn. Shit, that's my birthday. Hey. It's a holiday. I'm at the end. Shout out to Chingy back when he made the song about being at the holiday end. Yeah, yeah that's holiday win. Yeah. I'm about some new Christmas gifts. That's some fucking friends. Hey. Hey. Come out to the club. 
club, we had the King of Diamonds. Oh, oh I'm sorry, that shit closed. Oh, oh yeah, we, okay, it's open. Yeah, oh, right around, I'm smoking. Yeah, you know, I be joking. Yeah. No, but I'm really smoking. Yeah. And, I'm with all, and I'm with Carlos and I would say Chico, but he left out. Where that nigga at? He was supposed to be here. Yeah, I thought he was my friend. Yeah. <laughs> but it's cool, I'm with my other friends. Hey, man, we what? We at the Holiday Inn. Hey man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. We were just nominated for the number one blackest TV show that's not on TV. The black just came in the mail, no cap. We win an award every time we drop something. Every time. DC, we got a very special guest in the trap with us what today. A very special guest? Nigga, this nigga is presidential. <laughs> it's, it's, it's about nine motherfucking escalators outside. For one nigga. Right. <laughs> and everybody ain't even driving. They just pulled up, half told you. I'm like, this nigga crazy. On some real shit, though. <laughs> This nigga done won all the awards. No cap. Barack Obama be really listening to him and know his lyrics. <laughs> this nigga got a Kit Kat commercial uh, that sold $9 trillion worth of new era hats with a three on it. No cap. Overalls, mushrooms. <laughs> Facts. Mogul, all, the, all the festivals. Mogul, man. Uh, I just know one thing though. What, nigga? I know if one more nigga try to stop it. It's gonna be some what? Man, it's gonna be a whole bunch of niggas with dreads in the <laughs> lot. <laughs> no cap. No Ever no since he no said cap. that, Nobody everybody stopped. in the record industry knew not to play with this nigga. No cap. Really from Chicago. Really. <laughs> I felt that line too. Took a chance with this shit. Mm -hmm. Chance to rap. Come on. Hey. We always talk about this shit on the show. We feel yeah. like the black entertainers don't get enough appreciation. Oh, man. And we like to appreciate when people stop through the trap and fuck with us, man. You really watch the show and you really be posting shit that you watch from the show and we appreciate All that, the time. Real shit. Nah, I'm fucking with y'all, man. The show's amazing. And congrats on, on going strong for so long. Y'all did the tours and everything and like got a space. Y'all finna get another space? Or yeah, yeah, we, not, let me know. Yeah, tell them. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's right. time now. We yeah. all almost in there. Y'all talk about them. Talk about the other. Yeah, 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 we got a whole <laughs> studio coming <laughs> for those yeah, of you who yeah. don't know. the studio yet. We don't know. Mm. Should we um throw it out to the fans and do some kind of contest and let them name the studio? That don't mean y'all gonna get no equity. No. <laughs> right. we, go, we, got some, we got some options on the table, yeah. but yeah. we're gonna <laughs> get some input too. First of all, how you been, man? I've been good, man. I've been uh been working, doing a lot of music stuff, doing yeah. some traveling. Just got back from West Africa. What they doing over there? How that shit feel over there? It's beautiful, yo. It's yeah. nothing like I thought of. Like, you know, like I, I went my first time in January right. and it was like a, a crazy experience. Learned a lot about like, not just there, but about like global blackness, how we all connected. Right. Like, you know, the, the efforts that took place, like since the, you know, really since the fifties and sixties, that's when like all the African countries started getting their independence. And then that was the same time that we was going through civil rights over here. So like a lot of that stuff was interconnected and I, and I didn't know a lot about that stuff. So the first trip was really cool cause I got to learn and then I just went back with my friends and me and Vic brought some kids out there too. It was just like a real, you know, it, it, uh, it inspired me actually to, uh, to organize this, this concert. Me and Vic are putting together a, a big black, Concert I want to be a part of Come it, yeah. Hey. Hey. Now, we are like, hey. now when you say Vic, you mean Vic Mensa. Vic Mensa, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Vic Mensa. 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 Shout out to Vic
Yeah, been down. Man. Yeah. Sometimes Vic could just show up at Wild and Out and just take ten episodes and <laughs> be there yeah. for two weeks. He just fuck with what he nah, fuck yeah. with like that. He a cool nigga though. No, nah, the show is like I, I always say like it's that's our like you know Saturday Night Live. That's like our our like space to like really see so many comics that like you know like. And like what you did with the show since you came on, what all y'all did, and shout out to Chico too. I was just joking. I know you are my friend, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but like y'all seriously like built something crazy over there, and it's like it, it it grows so many stars, it grows so many like musicians and artists, and it's just like I don't know, it's one on one. Appreciate yeah. it, my boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we got one of the highest, one of the most viewed episodes. That uh, that season finale that he did. Nigga, he's the goat. He's yeah. the president. <laughs> that's one he's of the. Enemy. That's one of the first times we ever seen. You know, the people who really run shit called the show and was like, just keep fucking going. <laughs> like, let him go. What was yeah. about for like I'm an hour we and a half? Like, like, hour hour we were kept for a long time. Yeah. That's what people. I wish I. I wish I would do like a like, just like the shit that gets cut from that episode. Just like how y'all film so much. Yeah, it's just so much funny like. Like, people don't know, like, when you're an artist and you go up there, you really just have fun. Like, you really just, like, cracking jokes and hanging out and getting drunk, really. Like, I don't know if I can say that, but yeah. Yes, the like, fuck I'm, you can. Yeah. No, like, what are you saying? No, you're getting wasted. We go wild and out. They purposely getting you drunk as hell. And they and you just have a good time. Fact. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, they over there, like, damn, you done tore it up. Cut that. Cut that. <laughs> <laughs> nah. You get a lot of people coming in. Some, of, some people be shot as hell until they get. You know, on stage and realize, bro, you know, you, you can say something to us. They be like, I don't know what to say. Say what the fuck you feel. Why how I look ugly? Say that. <laughs> say I'm fucking so ugly hell. Right. Nah, that shit is fun, though, man. Especially, you know, the live tapings and shit. Nah, they can't. Because it's like, at this point, we know pretty much what they ain't going to play. <laughs> so when we watch the shit, we be like, oh, they letting motherfuckers rock this time. This shit lit, ain't it? Hell yeah. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And we will be in the city that never sleeps. That's right, NYC. We coming to you August 27th at the Town Hall. Yeah, and they definitely not getting no sleep after this show. So make sure that y'all get y'all tickets at poorminds.com. The show starts at 7 p.m. Yes, 7 p.m. And y'all know, I know y'all seen the clips. Y'all never know who gonna pull up. When I tell y'all, it's going stupid. Well, it's surprising. Dumb. Don't miss out. Get your chopped cheese and show up at the door. Yeah. Okay, maybe not with the chopped cheese, but we'll see y'all Billy Rock at the door. <laughs> Period. But shit, I know you, you deep into the music game, but like, what started you? What, what was your motivation? Man, I feel like I started out doing poetry, mm -hmm. to be honest. Okay. I used to do it, like, in Chicago, they have, like, this thing called, uh, Young Authors Projects, where every year when you were a kid, you had to like make a book. Like you had to make like a story right. about like niggas was writing about dinosaurs and shit like that. And I was making little books of poems. I don't know why I was doing that, but I'd do like a book every year and it'd be like 10 poems in it. And they was, they was really good. For me to be like six years old, they was pretty fire. Right. And I just kept doing that. And then I feel like it was around like third grade, second or third grade, I started like listening, like getting my own CDs and getting, getting into hip hop and then, and I was like, I'm gonna just rap. And yeah, I don't know. I feel like most people have like a cool ass origin story. Like, man, I was tired of being on the streets. <laughs> but I just genuinely like making rap. Like that's just like my swag. I don't know. No cap. I was like, wait, 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 wait. I hate a bologna sandwich, I could take it, no bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you no, you didn't grow up struggling and shit like no, that. No, I mean, like, I feel like it's a it's a common like trope, you know, that it's like it's like music is one of the options. Right. But it's like in reality it's a it's an art form like anything else. Like there's people that are just really, really good at it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like it's not it's not just, you know, like I feel like us as as black folks, like we have our have like, you know, a understanding of what is wrong, what is like good, right. you know, art period. Right. 
but still in like creating like everybody everybody got funny friends but not everybody could do what y'all do you know what i'm saying it's like where it's like with rap it's like you know there's a story to tell that i feel like a lot of people want to hear but at the end of the day like how you tell it how your voice sounds like your tone like mm -hmm. you're like it's an art form you know what i'm saying i love it that lit. Man, you be snapping on some music, though, <laughs> man, for real. That. On some other shit. We was just listening to the Action Bronson, man. You really killed that fucking track, man, on the feature. Oh, yeah. Is that, That's is the that, do, people, do people be like, kind of like scared to ask for a feature because they know you're going to go crazy? I don't know. That's a good question. I feel like, I feel like when I get on songs, I try and, like, I don't be trying to get on it like, I'm finna kill this nigga. Right, right. right. <laughs> That's like... I, I, don't, I feel like I really just be doing what's most true to me on the track and then how it comes <laughs> out is just how it comes out. But I feel like I'm always down to collab with people and I like to collab with artists that aren't always like necessarily just in rap. Like I'll be working with artists that make all types of different music and shit. Cause Who you had to work with that you ain't did one with yet? This this show damn near be connected, motherfucker. This my time. Yeah, tell it, nigga, tell it. Stevie Wonder, if you're listening right now, you know he watched this shit. <laughs> Stevie Wonder has seen every episode of this show, man. <laughs> you laughing? <laughs> Stevie I, Wonder do watch this shit. shit. I be it be me. It don't be me. I just said <laughs> I want to work with Stevie Wonder. I also want to work with. He watched this. Yes. He's seen Steve a lot Wonder. of these episodes. <laughs> Stevie Wonder. You know what I mean. Stop playing. I also want to work with. Y'all gonna fuck it up. I'm trying to really get this Stevie feature. Stevie, don't Stevie, follow it. Stevie, I'm yeah, trying Steve. to get. I'm trying to get a track with. Uh, with. Damn, who's I just about to say? I don't know. See, Stevie oh, Wonder. You know who I want to work with that I haven't worked with yet? And I'm cool with, but I just need some. I just need some of their time. I'm trying to work with K Dot, yo. Where? I want to rap with K Dot, yeah. Kendrick. With Kendrick, Kendrick what? Yeah. Oh, T D, they know they fought with you, but hey, no, Kendrick, those are my people. Make that word. It's just always schedule stuff, but I want. Yeah. I want. I definitely would love to work with with Kendrick. That'd be a fool. Would you want to already have something planned, or you just be like, let's just start from scratch? I, will, I feel like I probably come to him with some tracks, like these are tracks, but I feel like Kendrick is such like a musical person that right. he would want to like build something. Because he's like a, I don't know, he's into a lot of different genres of music. He's just a, he's very art, artistic. But he'll fuck around and jump on all of them shits. Hey, what's about whatever? I, I'm going I'm to take y'all advice and bring seven tracks. No, like, sometimes you just have things. to say that shit. If you know how this entertainment shit is, nigga, as soon as they hear that, be like, nigga, why you ain't say something? That shit might have been motivating him like me, but the big play did, they go. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. You give him no seven tracks, and you come in and be like, bro, we can do it from scratch. All angles. How, how you wanna do it? I got music already, but we gonna start. <laughs> I'm just ready to work, bro. You feel me? What? He probably got <laughs> seven he wanna get you on. That's no cap. It, yeah. it, it, it be like that sometimes. That's how you see like scheduling. He probably wanna do the same thing. Yeah, I feel like it might, it's probably like, like. You're right. If I hit him up, I'll probably... I'm going to just say it's going to happen now. Right. Yeah. Now that we so said it. Artists even hit each other up? Or oh, that's not a thing? Artists hit each other up. Artists also, like, change their numbers all the time. Artists also be not working on music sometimes, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I feel like he just dropped the album, so he probably don't got a track for me to get on, but I definitely got tracks for him to get on. So Fact. I'm going to go with the seven tracks and be like, let's make something from scratch. Fact. And then if he be like... <sighs> I'm not really trying to make nothing from scratch. I'm gonna be like, well, I got these seven tracks. <laughs> Safety you net. Got, you got a plan, Safety a plan. Net, you know what I'm saying? Uh, right, and I'm first, I'm gonna just say I got one track. So if you don't like that, I'll be like, well, I got another. Great part about it. Until I get to seven. This. Yeah. So he, he, heard, he already know you got seven tracks. I'm gonna hit him up tonight. Is this live? I mean, shit, it will be. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we live right now. Your is old. If you watch it, it's <laughs> Speaking of laughs, hey man, welcome back to the 85 yeah. South Show. Cheers to rapper. We hooking up this Kendrick Lamar feature, like just speaking it in, in two and, and, and Stevie Wonder. I bet he get one with Steve. I'm, I ain't gonna be, I'm gonna be happy if I hear you and Steve. Well, All right, who else? One more. one more, one more. One more. One more feature. You gotta That's get. That's fucking crazy. 
Damn, now I gotta use this like a third wish. I'm yep. gonna think of the right one. Reese, Reese just threw for real out there. I was thinking of for real out of Anderson Pack and them. I just like hearing great music and people who do music together. Right. You know who I want to work with? I know who I want to work with. I definitely want to work with AP. That's my homie. And for real. I want to work with Lauren Hill. I would Lauren definitely say that. I swear. If you listen to this, I would love to work with you. I swear. You was going to say that for Before real? Before you said Stevie, I was going to say Lauren, but you know you got to allow a nigga to think. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lauren Hill, boy. That's crazy. Please. <laughs> I'm saying she fuck that. What? That'd be crazy. And she you ought to get Dylon on the track. Stop fucking playing, man. No, nah, for real. Dylon can rap, man. I never said that he couldn't. I'm just saying, nigga. Dylon. Why you? All he needs is somebody to bring him in the game again. Facts. He did go crazy. I know that's what I ain't know what he was saying though, but he was going crazy. Making the band? I might, okay, fuck it. I know, we just talking about that one. We should make we should come out with making the band. I ain't gonna make you go walk with no cheese cake though. <laughs> you trying to put a band? You go walk together? and get a pound cake, it's a red velvet, but not no cheese. Oh, well, definitely. You put a band together? Yeah, I'm making the band. How many people in it? It gotta be like about five, six. Cause you gotta even out. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of motherfuckers. You know what I mean? That's six opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> Are they a group or a band? See, they a band, but one thing a band gotta understand, <laughs> there's six different instruments. Okay. You have to stand out regardless. So they sing the band. They singing and playing instruments. Whatever you gonna bring to the band. Oh. You are a part of the band. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be able to play organ. You don't wanna fuck around, Jeff? Oh, <laughs> you don't wanna play organ? You play piano, nigga, that's the same shit. How you got to play piano? How do you not play organ? That's piano. But you ain't got to use feet, nigga, I just ask for your hands. The fuck wrong? So the list is Lauren Hill, <laughs> Stevie Wonder, and Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. All right. Oh, three. That's five. Lauren Hill, Stevie Wonder, Kendrick Lamar. All on one trip. You don't mean what? <laughs> <laughs> you think they'll do that all on one trip? Bro, that if that they happens, got, that might. Spin up that pub. That might crazy open up a portal. Uh, of how that shit gonna work? Blackness what? that we have never seen. Just like a blackness portal open up. Yeah. All the ancestors walk out. We are here. <laughs> <laughs> For what? The concept. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody, bye bye. Yeah, yeah. Now, that'll be a smooth track. We got to take it back to career music is back in style for real. Cause like yeah. music, you have no choice. If you just listen to music or listen to like the Pandora, you ever just catch songs you fuck with and you don't even know who them niggas is? You like who this is? Man, I gotta go fuck with Sean. Oh, who this is? Then you go look at they monthly, some they monthly listener. Be four hundred thousand and six hundred. You like somebody listen to these niggas? <laughs> I just wasn't. But yeah. you gotta understand how deep the music game is, but that shit touches people. But real music, it come back in style. When did it go out of style? It went out a whole long time ago. What you mean? Long, long time ago. No, Before I see. we had access to actually listen to, like, think about it, like Spotify and all that, you got a genre, you gotta know about it. Right. You had to literally go buy your favorite song. So you was only listening to what you bought, nigga. For <laughs> you had no <laughs> subscription to go listen to everything. Nah. You didn't know you liked everything. I know. But now I got a free su a subscription. Well, not free. <laughs> I got a subscription. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna change that shit up. I got a subscription, yeah. but, but every time I hear some shit, I be like, well, I gotta add that to the motherfucker. What? I can be a DJ. Yeah. What? I know so much music about that. That's what I'm saying. I think that's just a small fraction of the shit people really listen to. Like, like you said, people listen to all kinds of shit. Right. It ain't never, you're like, it's this dude, he make these videos, right? When he go around, and he find people who got headphones on and he ask them what they listening to, right? right? And then he'll play the song and I'm like, why in the fuck are people listening to just cartoon intro songs and shit? <laughs> you be surprised what, next time you see a motherfucker was like, hey, what you listening to? It's gonna be some shit you never expected. Beethoven's Symphony 119. <laughs> it's the one everybody hates, but I like it. Like, what the fuck? Hey, I ain't even gonna count, like, I be listening to TDJ. You do? Sermons? Like, he, it's, it's on no Spotify, got that nigga catalog. 
And then ain't DJ him. He be all the niggas in there too. I listen to TD Jakes a lot on accident. But he didn't talk. Huh? Cause he, I feel like he be knowing what niggas be going through. He be saying shit don't that don't like. It ain't be like directly to niggas, but yeah. it, you can relate to every situation. Where you just sitting there scrolling Facebook, next thing you know, it, TD Jake pop up. Don't text me back. I'll get used to it. Don't call my phone. I'll get used to you not being there. Uh -huh. See, when somebody gets used to you not being there. <laughs> And then you be like, how does he know? <laughs> <laughs> that boy, that boy, he, I'm telling you, he profound, boy. I'm like, oh, all right, TD. I know he ain't lying because he's TD. sweating too hard. <laughs> he's sweating too hard. He got to be telling the truth. <laughs> he do be a That motherfucker be able to sweat. I don't know, I see sweat. there's a lot of lights in his church, though. You know, he got a big ass pulpit. And he go from corner to corner. Like, he walk and talk. He give everybody in his congregation to visit. That boy be sweating by the time he turn around. You no. Know, one of them sermons, TD Jakes had some Yeezys on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good. You know TD a real nigga now. He is. You ever see his Instagram pictures that be going viral? He be having them old ass Uncle Sue songs. <laughs> Killing these young boys. <laughs> you remember he had the Versace shirt on and they put him on the picture with the Migos? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga went viral, man. Bro, I saw get, TD, man. We gotta get TD Jakes to come on the show, man. No cap. That'll be alright. TD! You got the call, OG. He fought with me. He put me in one of his movies. For real? Yeah. Where's Bro, I did, hey, that movie you did. Lifetime. You did a, a movie crowd, that, that too. Did a while make, ago where you was a zombie. Movie? That shit then came back out. Kiki Palmer. One with Kiki Palmer. I don't know, yeah, nigga. No, the little, the little picture that showed the preview of the movie is just your ass sitting there. <laughs> 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 I turned it to a zombie, bro. I got beat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I turned it to a zombie. They were like, can you make a zombie? I was like, yeah, I can make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, we do that shit like five times. I'm like, my throat hurts, y'all. I'm trippin'. I'm gonna tell y'all what we do this. <laughs> nah, that shit was fun. I think we was for screen. <laughs> yeah, it was for screen. Man. You, know, you fuck with this shit? I do fuck with acting. It's a lot of like waiting and stuff. Like when you have to, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's a big a, game. I like, I like, I like behind the camera stuff. I like. Like cinematography and mm -hmm. I like I like direction. I feel like I, the last time I did some movie show, I was like on a I was in like a trailer for a long time because they be having to like change stuff. Oh, yeah, be like that. My the patience got stuff. to be. I don't got the patience. Ooh, I think that's the that's the problem. My only thing I hate when they keep knocking on my door when I'm in the trailer. I'm talking about you can hear them come up the step because the step got the. <laughs> Bitch, what is it? You just knocked on them motherfucker ten minutes ago. They need you for wardrobe. I'm in wardrobe. They say you about to change. <laughs> Into what, motherfucker? It's 198 degrees outside. Tell them to bring my clothes in here. Four minutes later. They want you on set. With what? With the clothes you got on. With these? <laughs> I just thought you told me I had to change. I love it, though. <laughs> you come with the game. They come knock on that door until you five minutes, 50 fucking time. I don't know what, I don't know what it is about the the... It's like also like when you're a rapper or like a public face type shit, it's harder to, I feel like, like I respect acting. Like I respect like right. the idea of getting into a role and like making a movie dope. Like a, be a psychotic a little bit. When yeah. We're and it's also like movies is like, a, it's like a team sport. Like there's so many different departments making a movie happen. So if you're the actor, you gotta like go hard to like carry your weight. So I want to do that. But then if I'm chance to rapper the whole time. So I like, I like like, uh, like character actors, you know, like, uh, Hold Hold up, I just had a vision. Of me? Chance the rapper. Chance the actor, nigga. When you go into that mode, just go into a whole nother, just be Chance the actor. I could I could get there mentally. Mentally, I could be Chance the actor, but it's like my face. It was like you said, it's like my face is like very like. You think like your I face can like change, nigga? That's what I want. I don't want to, I just don't want like a star in role. I'll be like a nigga that just says a few things, like right. a mystical character that's like got all types of prosthetics on and shit. Right. <laughs> Say something that's inspirational and then disappear. And niggas like two years later was like, that was Chance the Rapper? He killed that shit. So you want to be like Professor Clumps and just say a speech? <laughs> Sort of like <laughs> Professor Club, I guess. Heavy prosthetics. Uh, yeah, though. heavy prosthetics. <laughs> that would be on his face, yo. He, he, but he wanted to be him, though. That was you as Thurgood, Marshall. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Crazy. You like, played you the hell out of Thurgood. 
like fully dive deep into a role, but it's Thurgood Marshall in a movie about somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not, not the not the Thurgood Marshall movie. I gotta be a nigga that just comes like he just showed up in court and that was like, it. Like that like, one scene. It's like you gotta talk to the janitor, and then the janitor is me, but you don't know it's me, and then I inspire my fuckers to end. message. I don't know. Message that person specifically. Thanks. Hell yeah, no. I would actually kill that shit also if niggas is cast and directed. Let me find this. out you, Mr. Clog, I'll lean on me. <laughs> <laughs> that was you, Chance? So who are you now? I'm trying to I'm trying to be in a movie also like where I'm like uh like uh I don't wanna say a bad guy. You know what I I'm would saying? love to be a know. villain in a movie. Yeah. Cause you I wanna call the house. Shit. I ain't gonna say you probably I know you can. I just wanna call the house and then they show that little scene where we be talking shit. You, you have to use that bogus accent. Tell your boyfriend that I'm going to kill you. And then just hang up. That's, that's my that's shit. It, that's how yeah, I'll be the terrible it. motherfucker. Nigga, we were just talking about, bro, Keanu Reeves, the nigga who playing John Wick, he don't say shit in none of his movies. <laughs> he that mad. <laughs> he don't say nothing, bro. That nigga had a whole conversation with a lady at the coffee shop for about three minutes. The nigga was like, all right. <laughs> all right, all right, what the fuck? Wait, are you talking about the main Oh, wait, and it's pretty John Wick, Wick she was talking about that nigga dog, like how he can't kill nobody in Intercontinental. She was like, that after you, John. That nigga drunk some water. She said, hold on to speak. That nigga was like, all right. I was like, all right? <laughs> what the fuck? That nigga. <laughs> now, I'm fucking Keanu Reeves, though. That nigga yeah. paid for all his action movies. Because he do all that shit for real. And Vin Diesel. I don't know about that. Ooh. I don't know but these don't be talking about. He don't be speaking much in none of them Fast and Furious. That's what I'm he saying. He just like you want to race. <laughs> he be saying some bullshit. Boy, you know they in the car. Ooh, you like where they get in the car? No, nah, they always give him some bullshit to say. Like what? Be some shit that fucked the whole movie up. You don't remember when Fast and the Furious? That man got dead ass serious and looked over his shoulder and flexed his muscles and said, I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Who the fuck <laughs> wants to hear some bullshit like that? <laughs> this shit been good the whole time. <laughs> what did he say, love? I live my life a quarter mile at a time. <laughs> and he was in the car. The fuck does that even mean, man? Yeah, Fast know, and the Furious thing got ridiculous. I like the first one, they were stealing shit and you know, just on a hope and a prayer. Now these motherfuckers out of space. I ain't gonna lie, nigga, 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 why? Because he ain't never did Baby Boy 2, 3, and 4. No cap. We want to see Baby Boy. Boy, that shit had progress. so much potential. Him and uh, Yvette get back together. They son is a fucking all-around athlete. Right. Nigga, a cold-ass football player but and a basketball he player. Boy, and he run track, too. Jody done got the business booming. He done went from clothes to like work outfits and shit. <laughs> and flip that shit. Now him and Melvin done blew the lawn service up. They tight, they get money. Man, that shit could have been mom something. Got a Man, no, they store. mama done opened up a beauty supply store too. Mm. And she sells juices out the other side. What about the light skinned nigga? <laughs> man, that nigga, you talking about his partner? His partner. Oh, man, this nigga here done started a youth football program with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Got the hood. Snoop Dogg. Him and Snoop done linked oh, up. Oh, man, you know we were the enemy? Oh, them, them they, same they, young they niggas that he, uh, they knocked out in the park. You know, he got All them team. niggas got D1 football oh, offers man. after that. <laughs> man. He talking about all them niggas he knocked out at the uh, park. Then Pete, old boy who was staying with his mama, he, hey, he ended up having a um, having a baby with an old girl. His son like 14, the coldest little rapper in their little part of California. Then in three, then in three, like his son go off to college, but it's still like it go back to Jody, and then he start remembering who he was, and then like it's a love story, right. kind of like some why did I get married type shit, and mm. then he find out she was cheating the whole time. It's crazy. So three. do Yvette give us that cry? That she did in the car. He don't love me no more. Do we get that same? Oh crack? no. Yeah, that's no, no conflict she cold in now. this movie. It ain't about all that crying and shit. Now she more like Cookie from Empire. Mm. Her feelings then got hard. She's a woman scorned. Right. You know, and once the good girl's gone bad. What about the auntie that stayed in the in the in the house with with, with Petey? She done moved to Atlanta. <laughs> 
She done moved to Atlanta. Right. She out of there. Okay, bitch. Hey, it's yeah, supposed to be a series is all I'm saying. I mean, I'm not a writer, but I got ideas. I Damn. like it. I'm used to like way more like trauma and like conflict and pain in the movie. It sounds like everybody was good and No, I'm just saying black people we didn't evolve. Yeah, man. I like that movie. Well, a lot. Was, was your poem like that though? Well, I'm trying to remember like what my poems was about. I feel like they was like I don't even know what I was making poetry about. They weren't dark though. They was like it was just raps, but just quiet. They was like <laughs> Is that poetry quiet rap? Yeah, that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, basically. I feel like they was like love poems and like little shit about like, you know what, you're right. I think they was rap. Some of the poems was about how good I was at making poems, which is basically what rap is. So I feel like it was like I was making some, I don't know. Also, I was like seven years old, like seven. Don't like even seven try to remember. But then, like the trying. snap, you know, when you saw everybody snapping, that it shit wasn't was that like kind of poetry. Nah, it was like written down poetry. It wasn't slam, slam like it wasn't. It was, snap, it was yeah. like poetry, poetry. I was a little boy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that, that's still poetry. Don't give a fuck if you read it off a of paper. Remember, it's still the same shit. You said motherfuckers was reading it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, a six-year-old wrote this. <laughs> it's gonna get real deep. <laughs> I go to sleep when you wake up. <laughs> poetry really deep though. If you, if, it if can you be. Poetry, poetry. I think. Like, poetry ain't nothing but motivational speeches. Most of it ain't deep. It's just <laughs> said in the atmosphere what shit is supposed to be. Serious. You know. Some of that shit do be deep though. Some of it don't. Man, some of this shit don't be like some not, some fake deep shit. Oh, they'll come out and be like. <clears throat> Peace and blessings to the room, all the kings and queens. <laughs> I wrote this piece, it's unfinished, but it's something I just want to try out tonight. Is that all right? <laughs> I said, is that all right with you? Black man, it's time for us to make a stand. We can do what the black woman can't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we gotta hold down these sisters, not hold down these sisters. Ooh. Be better misters, be better brothers. Protect each other from the others. Ooh, from the others. Okay. That's an unfinished other. piece. Y'all can get that on my CD though. I got the whole version. <laughs> I'm selling my CD tonight. Yeah, you, want book, <laughs> you ain't never got a CD with... of poems. Is oh rough, man, yo. CD, of poems? CD full so of poems. So it's a track with another poem on it. Oh brother, brother, that's that's the beautiful part about it. <laughs> half of it is my poetry, and the other half is my album. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, you flip it over, it's the album, then the poetry. Oh, it's two sides of CD. A, yeah, you see, that's, that's oh, why I'm the And there ain't no label on it. You can see right here in the middle. It's I got all my, all my info. <laughs> I got my MySpace, my Instagram, Facebook, everything. It's all under the it's same under. name. It's all under the same name. <laughs> Mystic Blue. You got to spell it out. Mystic Blue. It's M Y S T I Q U E Blue. It's B L. E W W. Uh huh. Mystic Blue. Mystic Blue. On everything. SoundCloud. Reddit. <laughs> Fortran. All that. That's stupid here. Nah. Bro, what is by that, that, that one liner, bro? If one more nigga try to stop me, it'll be some dreadhead niggas in your lobby. I feel like that was personal. Yeah. No, I was just, a, it was just a, it was, I was going through a lot of things. At that time, I was trying to book a lot of like festivals. I was like kind of coming up out of a space of like, Acid Rap, which was my second mixtape, was kind of like the point where. Shit, that's an album though. I'll take it. It was, it was a, it was a, it was a time when like I was looking for deals, right? Like mm -hmm. 2012, like, mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah, like. <clears throat> middle of 2012, I just dropped like a mixtape about me being suspended from high school. And so I was like, that was around the time that Keith came out, Dirt came out, a lot of people like was flocking in Chicago, like different labels were looking to sign people. So I started taking meetings around that time, right after I dropped my first tape. And then right before I dropped Azrap, it was like costing a lot of money for the lawyers to like look for, it was really one lawyer, but for him to look at contracts, I was just like, this shit not feeling right, I'm paying a nigga to say no to people, so like, I'm gonna just <laughs> stop getting contracts. So I told him, don't send me anything else till I drop my mixtape. So when I drop acid rap, 
Um, and at that time, I was on, I was opening up for Mac Miller. And once my tape dropped, Rest being like in front of all these people, all right, people, my boy, yeah, yeah. Uh, it it like, you know, it took me up in a in a different direction. I wasn't really, you know, trying to sign at that time. And so, when I was making coloring book, and when I was about to drop coloring book, it was like, you know, I was just running into like little weird political shit, like with like shows I was supposed to headline, or you know, TV spots, or you know, trying to get features back, and. I felt like it was kind of just on some, like, I didn't sign the motherfucker, so they was, like, trying to just tweak them. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I just made the song on some, like, <clears throat> funny shit. It wasn't, like, a direct threat to anybody that I met, but it was really just, like, some, like, I don't know, some empowerment shit. Just, right. It just felt it felt good to sing that shit, too, like, for a long time. And then for that shit to, like, go number one at radio, for that shit to win a Grammy, like, yeah. 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 No, I felt good though. That Grammy shit though, man. Yeah, man. Grammy though. Yeah, man. It's not Grammy nominee. Winner. Winning. Three times. Three times. So Grammy won a Grammy won a so Grammy won. That's where they come from. This just this was just me saying speaking shit into existence. No, I feel like it, it was a it was a crazy time. Also, like when the when the Grammy show was going on, because it was such a big conversation with with when I dropped Acid Rap, because it was like, it was like some low-key like cultural shit. Like it wasn't as big as coloring book or anything like that, but like on some like underground and like people in college, like it was like a thing that was like traveling on some real like fan shit. And there wasn't really nothing in the market like that at all. You know, right. straight fan driven, not even like wheat pasting or like street team shit, but just niggas was listening to the tape. And after it came out, uh, I got approached by different people telling me that if I had sold the project, if I put it, you know, for, like, even if I just sold one copy, if I set up, like, a IRSC code, uh, that I could get nominated. Because the Grammys didn't, was, wasn't nominating people unless they sold their shit. And mm -hmm. I was on my mixtape shit. So I ended up saying no to that shit and not selling it. And then when I did Coloring Book, it was, like, a part of, like, my whole... You got your new you know, business now. I was like, I'm, no, I was like, fuck them. They got to change for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I fuck them, because I still want to win more Grammys. Right. No, <laughs> no, yeah, I'm up with you know what I'm saying? But it was like, I'm trying to do this shit specifically my way. And so then, you know, Color Book ended up being uh, the, the first, you know, mixtape to win a Grammy. First project that wasn't sold, you know, no physical copies. First yeah. mixtape to win a Grammy. Man. Yeah. So they changed the rules, I think, in like that September. Like, like so if my project came out in May, I would say like six months after right. they did that. But it was like a whole thing where like, you know, people that worked for me and right. like people that I knew that knew the situation that happened right. with Rap was like, you should just make some make some CDs and just sell the CDs. Like just so like you said, like just like so that you can make sure that you get that your work could get recognized this time. And I think just like the way I be operating and thinking about everything I do in music, like I'm always trying to like figure out ways to do it different, mm -hmm. to like create more space for us. Cause mm -hmm. I know as artists, like especially musicians, like we want people to experience our music in different ways. We want people to experience our music for different reasons. Sometimes money's not the thing. Sometimes mm -hmm. we just want to share art with people and shit. And so I'm always like trying to figure out different ways that I could like directly connect with the people that's trying to that need to hear that music, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, put that shit out for free, put it out on SoundCloud, put it out on, you know, on, on a streaming service at the time. That shit wasn't even really like that. Like, niggas wasn't really on Spotify, Apple Music, and all that shit. They were all, like, kind of, like, in a, in a war trying to get, you know, niggas to subscribe to that shit. So it's, like, capitalize on that time and just still be an artist and be in your artistry and, like, make what you want to make, but, like, capitalize on the moment and make sure as many people can get it as possible, you know? Mm, that's lit. It's fucking lit, nigga. That was a lot. You just gotta let that type of information just sit for a second. You really just put them up on some game. Like to go through that whole process. Because a lot look of people at the don't want to do the free, the free situation. Where they're like, bro, there's nothing to the consumer to buy, to, to listen to it right. for free. Look how fast a motherfucker listen to it for free versus them spending $5.99 trying to listen to your shit. Not for real. And we still Grammy nominated. I'm so rich. 
Ooh, that nigga fucked the game up. <laughs> yeah, you gotta take a chance with this shit, man. Damn. And the crazy part about it, those platforms are still there. Yeah. That's the crazy part about it. I think this shit gonna still just keep evolving, yo. Like, that's <laughs> what I was gonna ask you, like, after going through that, like, what's your method now? Like, you, everybody, you you on a whole nother level. You out the stratosphere, bro. Right. Like, even if you stay independent, you still it's like have I'm, already reached the motherfucking shit. Rat. Yeah, it's like, I think, like, my, what I've been trying to do is figure out ways to, like, tap directly to, like, somebody that's, like, Cause that's what that's what it's like. I think it is for all artists. Is yeah. like you get told to like try and blanket people in, try and like get like the you know cast a wide net and like you know go to spaces that are like big public spaces like late night TV or like mm -hmm. on the radio or mm -hmm. you know whatever to like. But it's like stuff like this, like this y'all own show where y'all got your direct fans, right? right? And it's like when you excuse me use stuff like that when you like. Like, I, I just did something with the last track with the highs and the lows. I did something where, like, I found, like, an old mailing list of, like, from years ago, like, my OG fans, just people that just, like, bought a sticker or something on my website, Good. just, like, random emails and sent them the track, like, the day before it came out on some, like, direct message with, like, a little, like, you know, personalized voice note to them, just like, yo, I fuck with y'all. I want y'all to hear it. Yeah, and it's like, people love that shit. They love to get something that's just for them and like feel like they in conversation with an artist because artists are high communicators. That's like a comedian or a writer or a painter, like we're high level communicators. Mm -hmm. And like we can communicate different emotions, different situations and like the most beautiful or funny or like, or like, you know, just cool ways. And so, when a fan feels like not only can they hear you, but they feel like they're in conversation with you, it's like, that's how you got that forever bond. That's how you have like somebody that'll, you know, stay supporting you. Yeah. Man, you say you were trying to book the festivals and shit, and then you did all of them. Like. <laughs> now we gonna do our own, that's what we talking about. We going nigga, to Africa. You see how we going to Africa? Nigga, I'm there, nigga, I Africa. can't fucking wait. I'm, stay, I'm staying right by you though. <laughs> so, well, we are. Look, look. All right. So look. I'm gonna walk off a little bit. I know me. I'm, I'm gonna start walking. No, oh, it's a, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be like a. It's it's such a crazy thing to experience because I feel like when you going out there, even like some people, just trying like I don't know. It's like a distance that's just like there. It feels like it's so hard to get there, and like I feel like most of the people in this room. How many people here have been to the continent? Anybody been to Africa? It's a few. That's crazy. These my friends, they just came back from Africa with me. Put y'all hands down. No, I'm just saying it's like it's like a thing where I didn't go until January of this year and I've been traveling forever. I toured right. everywhere. Right. Like I've been everywhere. Australia, New Zealand, Asia, South America, Central America, all over Europe and small markets too. Like not and that's not that's it's like by design. Like they want like when you you know, you start to come up, they like, this is where the money is, this is where we want to send you, this is where you're going, this is, you got a lot of fans here. But I'm telling you, Joe, <clears throat> when you get off the plane as a, as a person of your stature, yo, like, your fans are there, and they was there before you was on Wild Now. Like, you, you, we have, like, we have real connection because it's, it's, it's culture, it's like that, that shit transcends, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And so, like, we have this, like, this needed connection, even not for just artists, just for people. Like, right. Ghana is a country that was like literally founded on global blackness and mm -hmm. like the idea that we all supposed to be, you know, connected. Like when they president like into colonial rule and stuff, like he like made it a, like a, basically like the country's mission statement to have a free Africa and to connect all the people of the diaspora. So it's like, when you go there, it's because it's founded on that, because this is the this the one country with like the White House has an office of diaspora and affairs. Like it's like a thing where they want they it's so hard to explain, it's mm -hmm. so much information. But they want you to come they want you to come. They wanna help you. They wanna like they want connection. And like that's what we all need globally, not just like Americans there, but like, you know, people in the islands, people in South America. It's black right. people everywhere. Right. Like literally everywhere. Right. And so it's like this is like a, I think a crucial time, just like in, in the climates and every space, like any place that you look in the world, black people, like we're in need of something. And at least like connecting, I feel like is gonna give us a better sense of what we need and a better community to get it done. Okay. So 
trying to get as many motherfuckers to pull up, as many Ghanaians that already live there to pull up. Like it's gonna be it's 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 gonna be one of those. Like that's one of those. I can't fucking wait. You feel me? Let me know so I can plan it out. January sixth of next year. January sixth, yes, 2020, 2023. <clears throat> <laughs> I might have to miss this one. What about the next one? January 6th, you go, where are you gonna be on January 6th? Oh no, I think I got some shit booked, man. All right, don't say that on the camera. Be like, yeah, nigga, pull up to Africa. We gonna- Pull up, nigga! Y'all know what the fuck going on. Pull up to my nigga shit, nigga. We gonna fucking beat up. I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna beat up. You know what I'm saying? All the Canadians. That's what they call it, Canadians? Ghanaians. Ghanaians. I don't wanna call them Ghanaians. Ghanaians? Not Ghanaians. Not Ghanaians. 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 Nigga, I didn't know I thought Canadians were shit. Ghanaians. Now the Canadians gonna watch this shit and be like, oh, <laughs> fuck us, huh? You feel me? I ain't know. You don't know about the Canadians? Ghanaians. Ghanaians. All the Ghanaians pull Those up. Those are the people from Ghana who live in Canada. Fact. The Canadians. <laughs> Ghanaians. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm trying. No, it's gonna I'm be trying. one of those, though. It's going up January 6th at Black Star Square. Hey, man, what Barack Obama been up to? I don't know, man. You ain't talking to me? Dude, I don't, I don't be seeing Barack Obama. Like, like that, that's not even a good. That's not even a good. Bro, Obama. I just love like, everybody. Wait, do it all the way, though. You like Tim Dingley and the Tobin. Do it all the way. Like do like ten words of Barack. Okay, go do the Barack. Do it. Uh, 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 you don't fucked up with confidence now. Uh, <laughs> I, my mama told me I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, hold up. Trans. Trans. I heard the rap. I didn't know that you was Grammy nominated. No, nope, Grammy winner three times. Uh, is that a good one? That's good. All right, all right. That's good. Mama, you laughed. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's a good Grammy impersonation. <laughs> Your Keanu Reeves impersonation was good as fuck, though. They only got three words. That's what was all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Before you know it, that nigga hollering at it, going crazy. <laughs> but he took that nigga that intercontinental boy. I said, oh, he with this shit. I said, no, John, don't kill him in the intercontinental. It's funny watching him do anything after he did Bill and Ted. Oh, yeah, with the swan on him. Like, Bill and Ted was the stupidest motherfuckers. I don't think I've seen that movie. I know, that shit was way before your time. Was they time traveling in that movie? Yep. They had Bill and Ted Excellent Adventures. I think that's. Or I saw. Well, I seen one yeah. that was called like oh. Bogus Journey or something. They had like, like two or three of them. Yeah. Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted. That was probably when he realized I just need to do all action movies. <laughs> that's the crazy thing about it. It's just been the same motherfuckers for like the last thirty years, man. Yeah. They they got budget for that shit though. Think about how much wind capacity you got for them. How, how many movies can people do before this shit ain't believable no more? Like you said, though. Like this nigga again. Like sometimes you just do some shit so good, you can't really do shit else. But you know how many people in like, the world that. Terminator like is Terminator in everything. <laughs> he got a Terminator crowd. <laughs> They love to see this nigga terminate some shit. That's real. He either Terminator or kindergarten cop. Damn, I used to That's love That's some of his best work right, right there. Oh my God, I forgot about that I, shit. I remember that shit. That's some of his best work right there. Keanu Reeves, man, I fuck with that nigga, bro. Straight action. They even make good shit like that anymore. Mm -hmm. Like kindergarten cop? Yeah. Mm -mm. I think niggas is just too, like, privy to shit. I, Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy DC on Fly. In case you haven't heard, we at the 85 South Show have launched our own independent streaming service called Channel 85. And for our loyal supporters, we are currently offering 20% off for six months. Just use code 85 per center. Right, spread it out. Code 85 P E R C E N T E R. Once you sign up, you'll get access to the podcast a whole day earlier than everyone else on YouTube. All of our new live shows, independent specials, new shows like Five on it, 85, and even get your special offers and discounts for 85 South merchandise. And the shows, it's only $8.50 a month or $85 for the whole year. And you can find us online at china85.com or on your iPhone, Apple TV, Amazon, Fire Stick, Roku, and even on Android. And remember, use code 85 per center for 20% off for a whole six months. That's channel 85, subscribe. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Hey, it's Clayton English. 
How well would you take care of your car if you had to keep the same one your entire life? That's how our brain works. So why don't we treat them that way? How we care for our minds affects how we experience life. So it's important to invest time and care into keeping them healthy. There are plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps. There's also BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat only therapy sessions. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy. You can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash 85 south. That's better slash 85 south. Motherfuckers that yeah. lost, they done stopped taking okay. chances in Hollywood. Cause I when I was growing up, they made all kind of bullshit movies. Like Y'all don't remember that fucking Tom Hanks movie, Turner and Hooch? <laughs> Tom Hanks oh, yeah, was the fucking police and he had a fucking big ass St. Bernard as his partner. You don't remember that dumb ass movie, Harry and the Henderson? White people that moved in with Bigfoot? <laughs> what? You don't remember this shit? That's a real concept. Man, this was, they had a movie and a TV show, Harry and the Henderson, man. White people that went in the woods and moved in with Bigfoot, man. Wrote them all to the fucking store and everything, man. He spent the whole summer with a white family. They tried to make him leave. The motherfucker turned around. He was crying and shit. They was like, go home. Go home, Harry. He was mad, bro. Man, man. Bigfoot done moved in with a white family in like 1988. Look it up. And they still if you think I'm crazy, look up Harry and the Hendersons, man. We used to have all kind of bullshit ass movies. I think we stayed downstairs. You remember motherfucking Bill Cosby, Ghost Dad? Come on, man, that shit wouldn't work now. These kids don't believe in ghosts. I mean, you have, you have been here before everybody in this room, shit. Nah, there's some niggas in here older than me, but I ain't gonna tell you who they are. What about the COVID-19 27? You feel that? Now that was the first book, though. <laughs> this nigga think he young, nigga. You 30. Honey, <laughs> you 32, I man. I honey, I shrunk the kid. No, but you, 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 you are grown too now. You ain't <laughs> young no more. You just, Toy Story, you just flat now. You ain't young. You just Toy DC Story, flat. Toy Story 2. <laughs> Toy young Story 3. You haven't said that grew up. Said like 22. I'm like, man. What? <laughs> I'm like, I remember Sid had the braces. You don't remember Sid? Right. When he, blew, when he blew the motherfucker up, he was like, uh, 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 uh. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that nigga said crazy. <laughs> he burnt Woody head with a magnifying glass. He was like, oh, that nigga burnt his ass. I was like, that nigga is crazy, bro. You grew up on work too. You grew up on that? What? Toy Story? Yeah, yeah. That shit show you that white folk crazy. Is. I was already taking bitches to the movies when that came out. God damn, my mother. You don't tell that. I was like, six you years old. Oh, that nigga old. Oh, nigga, you young. What fuck you talking about? I keep telling you that. Grew up on the iPad and shit. My bad. No, it's all love, man. Keep doing your thing, bro. Nope. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just letting you know. No, but I'm just saying. What about uh, uh, Flubber? You remember Flubber? Hey, Flubber was weak. Flubber was that dog. Nigga, we were watching a green, little, jello pudding. Flubber was that dog. Nigga, we were watching a green, little, jello pudding. The whole movie. Where is Flubber? I ain't watched that bullshit. You ain't watched that bullshit? I don't fuck with Flubber. You, was, you, was, a, you was, was a kid, I wasn't. That nigga Flubber got there and see your ass and just, yeah, get the hell off. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how I'm, that's what I'm telling you, bro. Our generations grew up different. We had shit like Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I fuck with the But Roger wait a minute, Rabbit, think of the concept of this shit. Part. That shit was so cold. The Tommy wait a minute, this shit was so adult. This whole movie is about a cartoon character who got framed for a murder, and they wanted kids to go see this shit. These motherfuckers was pulling out cartoon guns on each other and shooting each other with radioactive bullets that erase cartoons. No okay. cap. That movie was fucked up. His wife was a prostitute. Everybody was trying to fuck Jessica Rabbit. The humans was trying to fuck her. All the cartoons wanted to fuck her. Come on, man. Why a cartoon need big titties and a fat ass? The finest bitch in the cartoon. Even the real police officer was like, blue, 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 blue. I'm just saying, we grew up on a whole different type of bullshit. Your generation grew up with some babies chasing reptile and shit. Ooh, you can't, come on, man. 
They, they beat yeah, I like Rugrats. I know, man. No, I fought Rugrats and Recess. Stop playing with me. That's what I'm saying. Recess was decent, too. Yeah. I was already through with that shit. I was working on some math or something by then. You remember Wayne Heads? Anybody remember that shit? Yeah, that shit was Wayne Heads. Wayne Heads, Wayne Heads. See, now you talking about niche cartoons and yeah. shit. Kid and Play had a cartoon, too. What? When? Yeah, never Kid, knew that. You Kid and Play, no, they had a fucking, they had a cartoon. MC Hammer had a cartoon called Hammer Man, where he was a superhero. And when he put his fucking dancing shoes on, he turned into Hammer Man. <laughs> he was Stanley in the daytime, and then he was Hammer Man when he was out like saving motherfuckers from shit. Look I it up. Fuck, I fuck with Doug, but they had like He had like, a fucking hair and bone. Black. First cartoon character with a necklace. They gonna make the nigga blue. Steve Urkel had his own cereal too. Come <laughs> like a nigga brown, man. You turn a nigga blue. Did y'all know that? God damn. Urkel had his own cereal called Urkel O's. Urkel O's. Ain't nobody eating them shit. Shit. He did. Ain't he no Look Urkel. it up. Look, young ass. Don't know shit. Ball. New face. New face. You got every fucking thing, man. You got some Urkel O's, my nigga. Do you remember Pro Stars? Pro Stars. Michael Jordan, Wayne Gretzky, and Bo Jackson had a cartoon together. Never know. You said Michael Jordan had a cartoon? Michael Jordan, Wayne With Gretzky, Wayne and Bo Jackson. They played the pro stars. They was three different professional athletes, and they used to go around the world with all these, like, like Wayne Gretzky have, like, a, a fucking hockey puck that he can hit, and that shit go in the sky, turn to a satellite, tell him exactly where it is. Michael Jordan put this suit on, and he can fly. Bo Jackson put his suit on, he fucking turned super strength. He can run through the walls and shit like Juggernaut. It was crazy. Los, we grew up off Kim Possible, my boy. I don't yeah. tell. Yeah. Like, you hear me? Like, I, 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 I'm not the aware of Space Jam. I ain't even know who Like, Michael I thought Jordan you had five theme songs. You hear me? Kim Possible, call me, beat me. Uh, if, if you, you wanna, wanna reach me, me uh, doesn't matter where, doesn't, doesn't matter, matter where. Doesn't matter you hear me? Yeah. Oh, you trying to act like we didn't have shit that was better than that. You talking about a cold ass theme song. That would never be a theme song better than Alvin and the Chipmunks, nigga. That nigga, him and his brother sung their own theme song. Three little black dudes who lived with a white man who had that paper. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? And he knew that they had talent because they were the best singers in their whole fucking state. And they let them do their thing. They had motherfucking customized t-shirt with matching hats no. and their shoes, matching t-shirt. Alvin had the red one with the A because he was the lead singer. Right. And then Simon, that was his brother who was smart. And then Theodore, he was talented as hell and could play the fuck out some instruments, but he was shy. He liked to eat and he was fat and insecure about his weight. <laughs> Little first nigga that you auto tune. They went We're crazy. the chipmunks, nigga. That shit used to go crazy. Alvin Simon. Yo, they had some the bitch. Uh -huh. Nigga, they needed behind the music. They probably was this close to signing the Motown. No okay. cap. They was gonna pick up where the Jackson 5 left off. And y'all don't even remember the girls. It was Britney and the other girls. They was the girl version of Alvin and the Chipmunks. Y'all niggas too young. Too. They be I talking to them, me. Joe. I fought with Animaniac, my boy. You tripped. Animaniac. Animaniac. Y'all know we wrecked the shit. Now nah, you know what I'm saying? All that shit up. Tad that shit up. That, that Darkwing Duck. Okay. Darkwing Duck was they a They had the theme song, though. Darkwing okay. Duck. Okay, since you're going to bring up Darkwing Duck. Mystery. Darkwing Duck. Who's bad? Uh. What? <laughs> Darkwing <laughs> Duck. That's on there somewhere. <laughs> now is the perfect time for us to acknowledge, though, that Launchpad was the hardest working duck out of all them ducks. Launchpad was on like was four, five animated? shows, man. He was on Duck DuckTales too. He was on DuckTales. Right. And he did a few uh guest appearances on um <laughs> the old nigga. Um Some of the old the, the shit with the with the two chip with the two uh chipmunks that was detective. Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale. Yeah. Rescue Rangers. He was on Tailspin. Yeah. Hell Tailspin. yeah. He was Launchpad was on everything. Shot it with the goat. Real. I did it. Shout out to Uncle Scrooge. He was trying to teach us financial yep. freedom way back then. Kept telling the motherfuckers, y'all don't need nothing. The fuck are you talking about? Stop trying to feed every goddamn body. Nigga, Uncle Scrooge might do some shit like fly to India by his goddamn self to get all the gold out of cave. <laughs> <laughs> he don't even know his nephew and them to snuck on the plane and helped him the whole time. We had some fucked up cartoons, man. Yeah. Inspect the gadget. What about the other one? Run and Stimpy? Ren and Stimpy? Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead, they was on cocaine. 
I ain't fuck with uh South Park. To this day, I can't get this shit. Bro. I don't know why. I can't get with this shit. Well, that's some of the funniest shit ever. I can't do it. That shit just stupid as fuck. The, the little boy kill himself every show. Every time, then he come back to life. Like that is that ain't how this shit go. That why these kids think they can come back. <laughs> Cause, cause they say they see kid, come back all the time. Yeah. That ain't how that shit go, my nigga. Man, times done changed. You gotta watch with your kid looking at on Diddy channel. I remember we used to watch motherfucking Looney Tunes and shit. Bugs Bunny used to do all kind of shit now that I know as an adult was <laughs> fucked up to see as a kid. What'd he do? Man, Bugs Bunny used to do shit like jump out the hole, stick two fingers in the hole, and stretch the hole, and move the hole and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I ain't know what he was doing until you, you ain't never seen an episode of that nigga jump in the hole and move the hole. Like, yeah. <laughs> or he'll just be like, boo, and stretch the hole. I'm like, man, that's some different type of shit. And why he used two fingers? <laughs> <laughs> What that mean? Bugs Bunny used to do shit like, like he'll see a late, like a girl rabbit or some shit, and he'll just like throw the cowboy hat on, roll a cigarette real quick. Like, why this nigga get so much swag so fast? Right. He's a swag ass nigga, man. We was slow back then too, man. We used to watch Tom and Jerry. These niggas ain't saying shit. We watching these motherfuckers run around the house all day. We just sitting there, but he ain't gonna never kill that mouth. <laughs> Did he, did he ever catch that mouse? He caught that mouse every fucking episode. That's how much you forget that, that this shit was all a trick. That nigga caught that mouse three, four, five times an episode. All he had to do was eat that nigga. He ain't never want to. It wasn't about that. <laughs> what was the mouse? <laughs> Bro, sometimes it just be beef. You ever had just like, it's like brothers. Right. And like, nigga, I ain't gonna kill you, but I show you that. I, I, I take it there and then I'm gonna let you go, but it's still <laughs> on site beef. Right, right. You right. know what I'm saying? It's right. on site every time. When mama ain't licking them on your head. Right, and then I think they had a little agreement, like made the people think that it was more than one mouse. Mm. You feel me? He did he have made some little in there though. Exactly. But that nigga was smarter than you think it was. Like, think of the shit that the cat was doing when he wasn't chasing the mouse. This nigga was sitting in the chair reading the newspaper and shit. That was this guy, though. He was trying to see, like, I ain't staying you, but really, I'm thinking about you the entire time. Right. So he like, just come outside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading my newspaper. He but these cartoons shit. had a message, though. Right. Like, Tom and Jerry just was just showing you, like, no matter what the fuck you do in life, mm -hmm. somebody's still going to be on your ass. <laughs> never get comfortable. Fact. You feel me? That was the message in that one. Popeye. Popeye the Sailor Man. Now that shit was so powerful. Right. Because think about this shit. He fucking with olive oil every episode. Right. Every episode. He got it in the beginning, right? Right. Every one. To this other nigga come around. <laughs> Then Olive Oil get to acting brand new. <laughs> Until, like everything, she loved this new nigga, right? right. He just walked up, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> She loved this nigga. He bigger than Popeye. He look <laughs> stronger than Popeye. Right, right, right. So he just done pull off the strip. Right. Then he wants some of that pussy. Yeah. As soon as he get up by himself, he start kissing on the neck. What she say? Oh, oh Popeye. What Popeye stupid ass do? <gasps> Olive. <laughs> what do you say? Oh! <laughs> run his dumb ass up there. Guess what he get? Guess what he get every time he run up there? Oh, that fucking, oh, the other nigga put him in a terrible position. Beat him up, though. The other nigga fuck him up. No, he don't just beat him up. He beat him up first, and then he do some shit like tie him up in a and railroad <laughs> with a bow on his chest. Right. Papa, I can't do shit. <laughs> Papa, I fucked up. And he done whooped the shit out of him. Olive Oil watched the whole thing. Yeah. Turned her nose up and left with this nigga anyway. Damn, so he did. The set him up. That nigga gotta use the bottom of his pipe to cut the spinach open and suck it through. Go over there and beat the shit out of this nigga. Why do Baba fight this nigga every day without spinach? Knowing he can't whoop this nigga without spinach. He's the spinach bird. He be trying to feel like he don't need the spinach. Man, that nigga wish he didn't need that spinach. Go, over, go over there every time and don't eat that spinach and get his ass tore the fuck up. That nigga Popeye's stupid. I'm through fucking with them cartoons though, man. Yeah, but you look. Yeah, go ahead. Hey man, I don't know if you still in here, but we just chilling in, in the trap today with Chance the Rapper getting out of here. Talking about the ups and the downs. Mostly the ups. That shit gotta feel good, man, to do shit your way and still win, though.
That's exactly why we keep this show right here going. You want some pizza or something? I'm straight, I'm straight. You don't eat this regular shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I understand, my nigga. If I want to drink it too, I wouldn't eat. No, it just look at it kind of different because I be eating pizza and it was Domino's, but I wasn't going to actually say I, I was told that nigga, nigga, don't eat no goddamn Domino's. <laughs> As the nigga <laughs> eats Domino's. No, they came in with 12 Domino's cases. Like, right I was like, right hey, man, man, these niggas love Domino's. Bro, anybody who will tell you, you no, know, you're not doing a podcast for real if you don't have no pizza on set. No, you got to have a I mean, that's the official food of podcast. Yeah. Evo bustin' though. Who these is right here, gang? Domino's, motherfucker. This ain't Domino's. You crazy as hell. Oh, they Domino's? I told you, nigga. We can this in Domino's, though, on the shit. My connection is deep. I do fuck with Domino's. Domino's, y'all got to keep putting pizza for black folks. In the black box. Yeah, that's a, that's a different gym. design. Yeah, man. Y'all going kind of crazy. Take a little gym. Domino's was the first job they got. Take like a little sauce, though. Take a little gym. Domino's, I'll take everything back. You got to take the first bro. sponsor? No, I said one. Well, that's the first job that actually got me out of poverty. You ever have a job where you ain't broke no more? That was the first job I had where I wasn't broke no more. So I'm always fuck with Domino's the long way. I used he, to work with Domino's. He fucked with them because he feel like real. they were there for him when they were dying. No, it wasn't that they was there for me. They provided an opportunity, and that's what really showed me how to expand my hustle. Because it's like the jobs, the jobs, like the way that they break down is like you can make as much money as you want to. It's right. all in about your need and desire. Because once I figured that part out, I was a fucking dog. You was I was a dog because I was like, you mean to tell me I can write my own shit? Let me do this then. Fuck y'all check, because I'm going to get me one every time I come in here then. You feel me? So they yeah. They hired you, they ain't hired me. I know, man, you know. That really just but they had us we we need help sign, so hold on. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's, hey man, the lessons. The fuck the lessons. Hey, this line now, if you don't need no help then, cause nigga, every time I come up here, hey, you need help. No, that's Yellow. the thing. They hire they, Domino's is one of the places that's always hiring because most of their business is delivery. So they always looking for drivers because the turnover rate on delivery drivers. Yeah. I'm glad they didn't hire me because I would've been driving there selling me. Man, I tell anybody who got some sense of where you live at to go deliver some pizza because you can Man. make hella money. Every stop you go to, you can always say, hey, you know if you want smoking or something for no, you No, and it's pizza. one of them jobs where ain't nobody on your ass because you gone all the time. You go in there and deal with them folks for five, 10 minutes at a time, then you right back outside with it. And then yeah. you can come back when the fuck you want to. See, it ain't like that. Yeah, because Peace Man was getting raw back in the day, but you got to be like, have some like, sauce on you. A nigga be like, oh, no, nah, don't raw. He'll heal cool. That's the thing about the fucking pizza community. You think they don't know where all the robberies and shit be happening now? Let a motherfucker get robbed. The pizza, nigga who delivered the pizza be like, hey, we ain't coming over there. Meet me up the street at the gas station. I'm not coming over there. I'm like, no fuck. I, I used, you be a call your ass. Hey, yeah, this delivery driver. Y'all got any dogs? Niggas outside? All right, I'm on my way. I'm not coming over there. Damn. I ain't never really had no job like that. I always hit quiet in these streets. Here you go. I ain't want to, bro. I sold dope, but then I just started liking it. I didn't just sell dope because I wanted to go out here and sell no motherfucking dope. Hell no. He got the worst excuses out, about this dope shit. What the fuck I do with this crap, man? What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck is this, man? This, you taste a little. This, this shit is bad for me, man. This, <laughs> man, this shit crazy, man. I'm out here taking this shit, man. I want to play ball, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you think about that shit, that takes some nerves to steal, bro, to sell crack, because you have to deal with crack heads. No and most of them motherfuckers look like monsters. No cow. Like they the type angry. of shit that I would see when I close my eyes at night, it would give me nightmares. <laughs> when the motherfucker trying to hang you that dirty ass crack money and you see that open <laughs> wound on me, they go the money. Ugh, you <laughs> bleed, mommy? Why are you bleeding? <laughs> you ain't pull my tooth out, give me five dollars. I'll pull him up right now. Come no, right now. fuck no. Now, them niggas done stole copper. Man. <laughs> so, <laughs> them niggas go strip a whole house out. I'm on copper, go. That's what I'm saying. That, that, that's that's too much. It's too it much to do. It's ain't no but copper. Copper gone. Copper gone. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, nigga, you gotta get your shit renovated all over again. What you need, copper? <laughs> what? I ain't gonna lie, I remember I took Craig in. He had a can full of copper. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he said, he said, he had a can full of car. I'm talking about big ass bowl. Nigga, he, he went in there, gave that white man that compliment. 
man. That white man probably gave that nigga 38 dollars, man. They had like three pounds of copper, man. That shit cheap. They know what they be doing, but they be reselling that copper, bro. I'm thinking about getting the copper bitch. No. <laughs> Don't. Cause you know when people be rehabbing houses and shit, they always try to put the cop in last because motherfuckers will come in there and steal all that shit. Talk about stripping it. Fuck strip, nigga. They watching you put the cop in. They're like, yep. So <laughs> third like, floor. They, uh, yeah. Stay yeah. They stinking it out. <laughs> Ain't it crazy that motherfuckers is still on drugs though? Yeah. Like after all this time, it's still new motherfuckers getting on drugs every day. Okay, yeah. Treat that cop like it was work. They were like, yeah, I got two jobs tomorrow. I'm like, two jobs? <laughs> oh, you got two things? You, you, you finna go thieve? You finna be a theft? Oh, this nigga here tripping. You finna go take two people? What's the name of the tomorrow? festival, man? Yeah, Black Star jobs. Line Festival. The Black Star Line Festival. <laughs> the Black Star Line Festival. Oh, August, I mean, January 6th. January 6th. So After. Look, so look, Africa, right? So like. I'm putting this shit in my calendar before this. Shit. Random game. So. You ever heard of Marcus Garvey? No, tell me about him, child. You ever heard of Marcus? I'm saying, I'm saying for Who the camera. So, oh, let me tell you about Marcus. Is that the man yeah. that invented yeah. gravy? Marcus Gravy? Marcus Gravy. Oh, 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 it ain't him. <laughs> Who you say he is? <laughs> so Marcus Gravy, Marcus Garvey. Oh, he, yeah. no, Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey. Uh-huh. Look at the book. Right? In the, in the early 1900s, like 1919. Right. He developed a, a, a shipping company. He bought these, uh, he crowdsourced this money in, in New York and around like the East Coast, mm -hmm. like $5 a share, so people could buy this, this old ship, right? Mm -hmm. From the government. Mm -hmm. He ended up having a fleet of ships and right. used them like, to start a cargo company that made trade from the US mm -hmm. to the islands to the continent. Mm -hmm. And uh, eventually he started like making passenger trips. So like, taking people, you know, that were trained in different trades around and like creating like a network of black folks like mm -hmm. from, from all over and shit. And then in 1922, the US government framed him for uh, mail fraud and, and deported him. They shut down this, this Starlink. But, but, his, but, his, but the shipping company was, uh, was like iconic to a lot of people because they would see these big ships coming in the ports. They would see like, people from all over the world. And you know they were niggas on that boat, like, yeah, yeah Nick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Marcus sent this bitch off. Black, black, black sailors, black, like, you know what I'm saying? Admirals and like, and like, fo like first Tom like John Cruise. Jobs, you know what I'm saying? First Tom John Cruise. So, so it's like, it's like, we trying to like, he's like, my first Tom join a crew. It was like the Essence Festival before it was, it was lit. To this was day, it's crazy. Nigga, we we did the boat. Where you know once they pulled up and they saw all them niggas on the dock, they just came, all came out, big flex and drank. He got the first time Jordan Crew, them niggas stupid as fuck. Tom Jordan on them, they doing them into the track. Tom Jordan Crew, I'm too young. Nah. But nah, go ahead. No, it's, 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 it's basically inspired by the Black Star Line. Right. Yeah. So like, the, the idea of having a network and being more connected with You gonna with, bring the pipeline back. Folks, right. Yeah, we just we just trying to create connectivity. It's like it's not even about like get motherfuckers to move places or like, but like I think or, or always travel. It's really just about creating that interconnectedness and like being able like the like this space right here, like that y'all create, like having yeah. community, having conversation, like that's what makes us strong. That's what makes us yeah, able to resources. mobilize. Yeah. Gosh. So it's like having moments like that mass demonstrations mm -hmm. it's like it's important for our strength as like a as a as a people and our, and our people is a global thing it's not just a thing that's just here it's like we going through it everywhere right. yeah most definitely just shit man you be saying some real shit i'm ready to mobilize let's mobilize i'm ready to mobilize did they tell you what tribe you were from when you went over there no what's crazy is i still never did like no like uh, what's it called? 23 yeah, and me. 23 and me. We were just talking about that shit earlier. I still don't do that shit. It ain't I real. don't really want to do anything. I do. I did mine. What, what did it say? Nigga, I, everybody come from Nigeria. 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 See? Everybody. But I, I got Caribbean in my blood. Tied in with Jamaica. No cap. <clears throat> it tied me all the way down to the parish and everything. Clarendon. I don't want people to start sending me pictures that look just like me and shit. But send me some pictures. I'm tied in. For real? Oh, tied in, nigga. Can't wait to go to all the land. I'm gonna go to Jamaica. Can't wait to go. To I'm coming. 
January Oh, Ooh, I just did. That'll be I'm coming. How long you going to be out there, though? Wouldn't that be a hard probably movie? Go like a week before, like maybe a week and a half before. It's like a, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of stuff that's popping at that time of the year out there. Like, Are you going to be there go, after the 6th? I'm going to go there. I'm going to probably be there a little bit after the 6th, too. I'm going to definitely be there before the 6th. Okay. You ever heard of Afrochella? Shout out to Afrochella. It's like a, it's like a, uh, a festival that takes place in West Africa that's like people that's actually Ghanaian and Nigerian that put it on. It's like a lot of artists from the continent. It's like a big thing that happens at the end of the year every year. So I'm going to go slide over to that too. You know what I'm saying? That's the weekend before. You want to jump on some Afro beats? Hell yeah. <clears throat> Hell yeah. I, I, I feel like I've been in a space where I've just been making a lot of music. So I've been collaborating with a lot of different artists. I just dropped, we just dropped a song with this artist where an artist just dropped a song that was featuring me and Vic last week. His name's King Promise. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and it's, and it, he's from Ghana, but it's like, I don't even want to call it Afro beat. You know what I'm saying? Like Afro yeah. beats, like, it's like, it's a different vibe, but I don't know. I'm gonna definitely collaborate with a bunch of artists. We just need, we need connection. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Collaboration, conversation, connection. And as much as possible, be, like, talk about real shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People think it is hard, it ain't hard. You just got to. Just stretch your head out. The yeah. pride shit, the motherfuckers saying they scared to say, I need help. I look you dead in your motherfucker eyes and tell you I need some help. Gonna well, you gonna fuck with me or not? We're gonna get you some goddamn help, cause your ass is crazy as hell. I need some help, but it's gonna get done. Yeah. Whether you a part of it or not, it's just the principle that it's the spirit in me to reach out to my, my fellow brother and be like, we're stronger when we together. Straight up. Cause once we do what we do, what side you gonna stand on? Hey. Well, I was supposed to pass this to you? No. No. Right, no. We got a lot of blunts and shit. We knew you was coming. What's up, hey, I think my shit might be refrigerated to perfection. I'll put this, hey, this strawberry no, no, kiwi in here early. that black box one more time, man. That's my first time ever. Tasting something so delicious. Oh, you don't fuck with Domino's though. That's that delicious pizza from Domino's. Personal pan, oven hand toss. That's how y'all should make all y'all goddamn pieces. Even if it ain't personal. Even the big ones. Make a personal pan, oven toss. Cause if they tasting like this, but he motherfucking He just, busted. he don't get it, man. Do you see this? I ain't never seen y'all. This got soul in it. Pick out one of them boxes out of that white box. That shit thin. It ain't got no meat on it, ain't got no cheese on it. This shit look like it came from a <clears throat> piece of it. <laughs> <laughs> look at the premium, premium, premium one on piece. Look at that white box. Look at this white box. That's cheese pieces, nigga. Come on, my nigga. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. This bitch got a tumor on it and everything. Let me tell you what that is. This shit, man. That's an air bubble. If nah, they were the last piece, if they were the last piece, which one you gonna take? The when, one you hand, when you hand toss it, I can't even see you, my brother. Once I put this bitch in my face. That was my favorite piece. <laughs> it's just mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just pain. 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 Yeah, it's for real? Yeah. I never, I never really like rocked with the Pizza Hut that was by my crib. It used to be a Pizza Hut right on 79th by my crib. And what I was year was always, it? This, uh, 20. Uh -huh. you, were you nah. a part of the whole Pizza nah. Hut? You don't you want no Pizza Hut in 20, nothing. Hmm? That's like, telling not 20 something, but like 2000 and, is that still too late? Man, if you had some know. Pizza Hut between the years of fucking 88, in, I'd say maybe 97. That was prime Pizza Hut years, man. I'm talking about the smell of this shit. When you used to go in Pizza Hut, you couldn't wait to get your fucking pizza. Every pizza that came up in that motherfucker, you was like, that my, uh, fuck, shit. That shit smelled so fucking good. What made you love that one you did say they gave you change? That change. That money, boy. It was the money that they changed. They hired your ass. They just gave your ass the <laughs> job. Change, you just do anything. <laughs> no. Nah. Tell me us for you, you got me for life. I didn't go for that. I didn't ask to work for them. Y'all showed, showed me my mentality. I didn't ask to work for them. Shit. 
think I don't know what y'all did to Carlo. He buy y'all shit every show. I'm telling you. His eight boxes of Domino walk right. I'm like, what the fuck is Twenty. This nigga, I ordered twenty pieces every episode. Every show. <laughs> I'm y'all telling you. Y'all think you're my nigga and me. I didn't ask. Man. I didn't ask every them to work show. for them. They 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 they, sick, they was like seeking me out. They was asking around the city about me, bro. That's how much swag I had. I had that much swag. They was asking everybody about me because they kept seeing me around. I was riding too good and I was just living life and I was too happy. And they was like, man, we seen you come through here, man. We seen you ride by. Man, we've been trying to get you to work up here. I was like, for real? And I had a little bullshit job then, and I was like, I started adding it up in my mind. I was like, this is my city. I know every nook and cranny, even where a nigga granny live. Yeah. So then I started putting it together, and I went up there, and I talked to Mike, and Mike was like, shit, you already hired. You ain't got to do shit. I worked up there, and then I did the paperwork later on. I was already making money. I seen what it was. I was like, nigga, I'm in that bitch. Right. I'm in there. I'm in here. You're in here. I made money the first night I was in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, you knew that was it. The first day, <laughs> bro. I left. I left with some money. Yeah. Man, you hey, 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 I'll be back. See you, man. <laughs> <I'll be there. laughs> Nigga, what time we open? Yeah. I'm all about the company. I'm <laughs> washing the shirt. And everything. I'm washing the shirt yeah. tonight. The shirt going straight in the washer. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh, oh. Yeah. Bye. By itself. Yeah. Man, you take hat in uniform. Right. Hey, you talking about yeah. I gotta do this again? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do it like this. Every time I'm, I'm gonna make more. Okay, bet. We'll Shit. I ain't did nothing. I'm just ain't riding around looking at the hoes, too. And the hoes see me seeing them. Oh, yeah. And they like pizza. You were driving? Come on, bro. You had it's, the car. You delivered one. It's a whole college right here. Everybody home. <laughs> Wait, so is this during the time when they still had, like, the Pizza Hut sign on the car? Oh, man, I had the magnetic sign and everything on the bubble Chevy. <laughs> I, I had like the you bubble didn't Chevy. Have cars that said Pizza Hut on it, just a car would come to No, nah, it was a magnetic sign, bro. We, I, we had to light our shit up, too. <laughs> I'm he outside. Put on top of your car, he like, what the hell you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what? He did be, ah, <laughs> Domino coming oh. through. <laughs> hey, Domino coming through. Police see it. Police see they got their own sign. <laughs> Let him through. Let him through. Let him through. Yeah. Park it anywhere. Shit. Yeah. Man, you got privileges when you got the food, nigga. You can pull up right to the door. You okay. can. I got to get out. What you want me to find a parking spot, my boy? Hey, we need to move the car. Hell yeah. Let me in here. <laughs> Nah, I had a ball doing that shit. Cause the crazy shit is, man, you just go in people's house and you just be seeing strange ass shit all the time. Which strange shit? Like every see? delivery you go, you see some strange ass shit, man. People be leaving little notes and requests and shit. Hey, walk around the back and leave the pizza on the porch. <laughs> Don't knock. My dog's deaf. <laughs> The doorbell gives him anxiety. Because he can feel it, but he can't hear it. He can't feel it, but he can't hear it. People can be strange as hell, man. I'm telling you. You never give a dog anxiety. This nigga is crazy as fuck, bro. Yeah. See, y'all had it good, bro. Y'all, then you talking about you had a job and quit that job to go work another job. See, I, 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 my shit ain't work like that. Nah. Then, then I try to find a job. I always tried, I went to job.com, I did all that shit. All them shit was lying. Indeed.com, lying. I don't feel that all the applications. I'd have been every applicant. I just said, maybe if I just get in the building, I just need to get in the building. I don't give a fuck what the job is, I just need to get in. So I, just I really couldn't see shit. you being a good employee, though. Who? You. I was the best. Now, you probably was the if most so fun God, to work with. I am him. You probably was the most fun to work with, but I don't really see you doing no, a lot see, of shit. No, see, this is me. I would work hard, but try to come up with a plan to not to do it. Boss about him. Y'all don't like how he work? <sighs> <laughs> Somebody got to get close to him. Who going to get close? <laughs> I get close. You ain't finna work me to death. Don't worry about it. Fuck you, man. Oh, T, we going to Oh, oh, matter of fact, you got a whole different branch. You want me to take over? I would love to. I'm not doing shit. That's the thing about it. I think people get jobs and do too much work. Who? You just sometimes you just gotta do your job. Yeah. Like stay in your fucking lane. When you go like people go to work and they start doing too much shit, you know what I'm saying, mm, trying to help out. Quite. That's where you get fucked up at. Because once they work. see that you can do this shit short-handed, you always gonna be short-handed. 
Nigga, if you come to work and you doing too much, if you the fucking cook and then you trying to take orders too, they gonna put your ass in there by yourself. Do your but fucking job. They ain't job. even try me like that. They just fire me. I can see. <laughs> they like, oh, little buddy on the fry and take an order. Yeah, this your last day, my boy. You got to you go. had some hating ass job. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It wasn't that I was trying to get to the boss. I was just trying to be great. Like, you want me to stack cones, but it's something I got to do after I stack these cones. What is it? I'll tell it to you when you come back. Uh uh uh, that ain't how it work. Give me my list so I can work. Bro, you want me to do it, come back in. Do it, come back in. Just know, my boy, if that's our itinerary, give me the itinerary, sir. If I'm gonna be the employee and I gotta make the burgers, don't be over my shoulder. Grab the bun, grab the meat. They ain't gonna the do tomatoes. that. Hey, brother. I worked at Burger King, too. You did? Yeah, high you school. You me, you got all the jobs. You don't know how to tell. You gotta stop. You gotta stop telling all the truth on them applications, man. How Start do I, how do I lie? You got. I ain't got nothing else to say. I, I stay. I got one address. You know when this is the number one thing people do, especially like fast food people. Right. When you try like high school age motherfuckers, right. the number one thing they say is like they ask for your availability. If you go in there and tell them motherfuckers you available every day, they ain't gonna take you seriously. I am though. But no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. This shit say full time. This ain't part time. We Don't you understand? Every day. <laughs> to them, they look like it's too good to be true. Now you gotta lie on one day, be like, hey, look, at least on Thursday, I can't be, I'm not available from three to five. Act like you got something else to do, man. Don't be just desperate as fuck no. on these applications. <laughs> they can smell desperation. I thought they said answer to the most honest you can be. Like, No. Why would I say I'm busy on Thursday and I can be making money with them on Thursday? I'm no. not busy. You, you can work, you can negotiate that later on. They just seen a hard Cause they work. might just interview you just to see why you ain't available Thursday. Right. You can just come over there and say, oh, well, shit, I, I build boats too. <laughs> she ain't had that mentality. The best job I ever what had, though, I was money. working at this steakhouse, right? The shit was way down in the woods and mm -hmm. we used to get to work like an hour early. Like they told you, like they'd be able, like, be here at six and then you get there at six and then everybody just getting high so we can start working at eight. I'm like, this is strange. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't never gave a fuck. Hey, one real job. They taught me how to make a creme brulee though. How you do that? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's a secret. Because the secret shit I had to go through to learn it, it ain't worth just telling motherfuckers for free. It's an experience. Man, me, my boy. You ever had a job, bro? No creme brulee. I have some some <laughs> random. Can't make no creme brulee, no damn. Now we'll rap. I put you up on there. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop making my peanut butter jelly in front of you, nigga. I see what's going on. Now I see how you. Every yeah, time he watch, he like, damn, you don't put a lot of jelly. I'm like, nah, little. No, I, I see what's going on. They call you creme brulee. I see what's happening. Yeah. What jobs you had? I'm thinking I had I had a job at this place called Kennecott Park in Chicago. It was like a like a radio. It's weird. It's a weird thing. It's hard to describe. It was like a, they was teaching us how to do radio, right? But we was never actually on the radio. It was like a, it was like they a weird. Trying to have like a radio voice. That's what they were supposed to be doing, but we <laughs> weren't really doing that either. We were <laughs> like, wait a minute. Your radio voice. This sound like this sound like a trap. So you were getting paid to learn how to be on the radio. Yeah. But this is a job. This was like a. This was like a. A program at this, oh, at right, this right, place okay. called Kennecott Park, and it was like, they was like, we gonna teach y'all how to do. It was called Teen Talk Radio Theater. <laughs> <laughs> that shit just came back to me. That fight. Yeah, but it was like a, it was like a thing where I used to go there for one summer, and they was like, and I remember I was rapping in that bitch. That's really the main thing I remember was I was in that bitch, and I was like, yeah, I rap. <laughs> I was rapping like every you Friday, got the job. Yeah. like just in front of like my coworkers. I guess I don't know. And then coworkers will hype your ass up if you like if you got some people that you work with that fuck with you. They'll be believing in your dreams like a motherfucker. <laughs> Bro, you gonna go do the rap shit? I work for you. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna work for it? <laughs> Take your ass up there, bro. You got to be there. You the rapper, nigga. One of us got to make it out these goddamn kitchen, bro. I'm at, the niggas in the kitchen are hard motherfuckers, bro. I was just telling my nigga about you, bro. That shit you spit the other day. Woo! <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, that nigga be on your side.
For real, for real. I ain't never had no job, so I ain't had no co-worker friends. <laughs> Damn, DC. <laughs> Fuck you about. Oh, I ain't never had that type of support. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work with this old white man look just I like Hulk Hogan. I just played my game, really with me, yeah. Work just like a I used to work with this old white man look just like Hulk Hogan. What happened? I used to work with a white man look like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Where the fuck you get out of these jobs from? Bro, he worked, yeah, I seen a lot of strange motherfuckers, bro. What the bro, we had this one white dude work with us for the fucking longest, bro. In the middle of the summer, he used to always wear like a long sleeve shirt under his fucking um, domino shirt. And we were like, why the fuck you keep wearing these fucking undershirts? Man, one day that motherfucker came to work. This nigga had all devil worshiping tattoos. Everybody was like, what the fuck? It's crazy shit ever, man. This nigga had the devil tattooed on both arms. <laughs> on this was both arms. Domino's? It was all type, yeah, all types of crazy shit. They were like, man, you gotta cover that shit up. I was like, I don't wanna work with that motherfucker. <laughs> they fired him. Hey, man, I don't even know if they fired him. He just stopped coming. <laughs> that boy got all the pull. He get nigga fired and everything. Like, nigga. I don't wanna work with this nigga. <laughs> that nigga fine. Oh, it had this one girl. It was you'll never believe it. The funniest, weirdest shaped lady you ever see. Just a funny looking woman. Bruh, she had she started working that delivering pizza, right? So she had got with this dude who like he was like sneaking and geeking on the meth. Right. But he had got insecure, so he used to always like he wanted to go on every delivery with her. Right, right, right. So they had a meeting. <laughs> right, we had a crew meeting, and he was at the crew meeting. Geeked up. And they were like, yeah, you don't work here, you ain't supposed to be here. He went out and sat in the car, but that was the whole meeting was about, that she was like dropping him off and picking him up on every delivery. Because <laughs> he just didn't trust her by himself. By himself, it was just. Is that what he said? Oh, Man, all right, bro. Oh, what you don't trust with the pizza? He just didn't like her going, you know, delivering pizza to men. He was really tripping over her, man. And then he got fired. Now she did. <laughs> they had her back once once they broke up, though. <laughs> oh, they were together. Oh, they were together. Like, yeah, it was her dude. Oh, he was like, fuck that. He was like, fuck that. And then, like, the first time, <laughs> like, she wasn't girl. hiding it. She was pulling back up, and he was just sitting in the car. Her little boy was in the car and everything. And he was supposed to be watching the little boy while she was at work. So like a couple times they ain't say shit, and then like it was every time. So they like you gotta quit doing this shit. So Uber Lyft before the, you can have somebody wish you were like Uber Lyft. He was already doing it. Right. He was in the car with her. Watching One white dude delivery. got fired because he had his dog in the car. They told him stop bringing his dog to work, and he was like, Nah, my dog go to work. <laughs> my dog work where I work. My dog go everywhere I go. And they like, Nah, man, <laughs> can't do that shit. He was the craziest motherfucker ever. Like. You know, at the end of the day, they throw all the pizza away, right? He'll come to work early and just get all the pizza out the dumpster and eat it. For real. Him, him and the dog? Yeah, he would just eat it. And what part of Mississippi do we Bruh, tell me. <laughs> he, gonna, he gonna get mad at me when I say it, when I say it. No, he did. He that's a goddamn story. They, that's he got a devil worshiper. He got a nigga with a dog. He's like, bitch, he's my dog for nothing. <laughs> all right, you know No, for real. <laughs> Uh, we gotta wrap this shit up, man. We can't talk about Domino's all night. No, bro, they, this shit was busting on another cap. I ain't never ate this. See? Chance, man, what you got dropping next? You just dropped. I just dropped the highs and the lows. You just dropped. Hey, get that. Hey, hold on, you just dropped. Go get that. Go get that. Go get that highs and the lows. You feel me? Uh, shout out to the artists. That's the piece right there up there, the, uh, that piece right there. We opened it up at, uh, at Art Basel. Now, that lit. Now, Miami was Switzerland, you feel me? And, and, and Switzerland. And Switzerland, and, uh... Flex on these niggas, yeah. say it again. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So that piece opened up at Art Basel, Switzerland. Come on, man. And, uh... The cover? Yeah, the, the, so I've been working with different artists. Like, these are, like, real pieces. So, like, this is a printout, obviously, which I appreciate right. y'all making these joints. But it's, like, uh... These are, like, real pieces that people, like, either painted or, like... That's, a, like, a photographer from Gabon, West Africa. Ooh. The one below is, uh... Right. Nika Washington. 
that's like a small version of like a 12 foot painting by Nyla Pianga. But I just been like working with, with black artists from all over the globe. It's all like one thing. It's like what you were saying, like we all need each other's help. So we just like working with people instead of just like doing random little cover art. I'm like having discussions with artists and like working on tracks from the ground up and then doing the film part myself, doing the music videos and shit. So definitely listen to the highs and the lows, but also go watch, you know what I'm saying? Go see the highs and the lows. Yeah, that's yeah. Is. And the Stevie Wonder feature is coming. Stevie Wonder Lauren on the way. The Lauryn Hill feature is coming. The Kendrick? The Kendrick. The Kendrick, the Kendrick gonna feature. do all seven of the tracks. Facts. Facts. Album coming. That, you gotta put the album on the list. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, you see? You're not excited, my boy. <laughs> yeah, they see you feel me. I was saying, it is just me get my <laughs> Now, but, but can I do say? You are the first. Hold up. Take your time. Take your time. You take your time. Take your time. Take your time. You are the first Grammy winner to have the album on the 85 South Show Wall. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Nobody. Nobody. Look, man, shit. we know this is your first time in the trap. Yeah. But don't let this be the last time. I will not be. You know where we at now. But we about to move and we're going to tell you where we're going. <laughs> no cap. DC, huh? what you got for him? What I got for him? These ain't booty shop. <laughs> These coochie shop. You know what I'm saying? But nah, man. We appreciate you. Keep God first. You know what I'm saying? Forever be God for every. Keep leading. Even when you think people ain't watching, we watching, my brother. I think that's the, the thing people don't understand that. When you see people walking and talking, like just being in Africa and all that, but it, keep going, brother. Keep going. Because not only do you know that, you're uniting people and motherfuckers want to get into that space. We need that energy. So keep talking. Keep doing what you got to do. Just stay working. My brother, yeah. yeah. Love well, y'all always know. Hey, you already know. Man. You already know. Love. 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 Hey, find the South Show with Chad. Hey. We out of here. Hey. Let's, take a, let's take a photo, yeah, man. Fix your shorts. Man, yeah, man. <laughs> Fucking jorts. Hey, but I ain't never ate no fool goddamn person to from Domino, huh? I knew you liked that shit better than Pizza Hut. Uh -huh. You just be careful. Three, two, three.